in the NFC. Let's take a look at what's going on there. The Saints, of course, have a bye, and so do the Rams. Seahawks have to go to Arlington to face the Cowboys on Saturday, and then Sunday it is the Eagles and those Bears at Soldier Field. Guys, let's talk Seahawks-Cowboys for a quick right. second here. Both teams, I feel like they're evenly matched, right? Good quarterbacks. One of them's, you know, obviously... Uh, there may mean they're not as easily matched with the quarterback spot. Good run games, great defenses. With the similarities, who has the edge? You know, I look at this team, the Seattle Seahawks, and what we thought they were going to be coming into this season, and now what they are. And I almost feel like we didn't give them enough credit because we're talking about the Colts and their surprise season or the Bears and their surprise yeah. season. This is supposed to be a rebuilding year for Seattle. And yet, when you look at these two teams matched up, I look at the experience. And the Seahawks, they've got guys in that building who have been there and done that. Look at this. This is just Pete Carroll, Russell Wilson, Bobby Wagner since 2012. Mm. Twelve different playoff games. That's awesome. Nate, how many playoff games do you play in your entire 11-year career? Four. Four. Twelve different playoff games these guys have all played in together. That's not four times three. That is 12. Awesome. Each one. That, is, that is 36 games yeah. right there. Yeah. That is just experience. The Cowboys, I look at their main three. What do they got? Let's look. Garrett Prescott Elliott. Uh, okay. Together? I got one. Yeah. This is compelling. I'm just saying, in the playoffs, a lot of times we see a Nick Foles shock the world and come and beat yeah. Tom Brady, no matter how many playoff appearances Tom Brady's had. Nick Foles can come in and beat him. Other times, that experience, that maturity, that we've been there, done that no kind deal. of factor, yeah. it does come into play. I would just like to see if experience starts coming in a little bit here, because as much of a surprise as the Seahawks are, Wagner, Wilson, Baldwin, Carroll, They've been there. They've done that. They've been to the highest mountaintop. Now have the Cowboys? None of those guys mm -hmm. have. It's going to be very interesting to see how that plays out in the nitty-gritty in the key moments. For me, I'm looking at the quarterbacks. Dak Prescott, Russell Wilson, um, and it's not just dropping back and being traditional passers. They can do that, and they will do that in this game. They'll get the ball and shotgun. They'll go through their progressions, dump it off. They'll do whatever they need to do. For me, it's what happens outside the pocket. Like, that's yeah. where the special plays sure. happen. And it, it, usually back in the day, um, when somebody would go outside the pocket, it's time to check your phone. It's like, oh, who's texting me? What's going on? <laughs> but now, when quarterbacks are outside the pocket, it's time for you to tune in. Lean in like you're getting beaten mad and then be like, oh, what is he about to do? That's what these guys present. And these big plays, these are game changers. These, ga these plays can change the complexion of any moment. Now, for me, Dak Prescott is as good as anybody. But Russell Wilson is up there with the best in the game. Mm -hmm. He's third in the league with pass yards outside the pocket. I'm um, in at six TDs, one interception. So when you're sitting at home watching this game, before we get into these playoffs, I try to give you guys a few things just to key on. As soon as these quarterbacks break the pocket, I want you to tell everybody in the room, shut up, and I want you to lock in on the TV screen. Because a big play is about to happen, and that big play can change the game. And if I have to give an edge to one of these guys, I'm going to give it to Russell Wilson. Got to do it. Because he's been there, he's done that. And all these highlights we compliment these young quarterbacks on, getting outside the pocket, throwing side yeah. on. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Russell Wilson been doing it since he got in the league. So I'm going to pay attention to that, and you guys should too. I, yeah, I will. And um, we lost the great Mean Gene Okerlund this week, yeah. who was like my Howard Cosell as a child, just an absolute legend. He would love this game because I think this is very simple. This is a tag team match. This is two versus two. It is Russell Wilson and Chris Carson, those two guys in Seattle. And who are they going against on the other side? Who enters the ring in the squared circle? The team they're going against is number 54 uh. and number 55 for the Dallas Cowboys. The, those two guys right there. The Legion of Boom is gone. Seattle now has the Legion of Doom going against the Wolf Hunters, the Such two of cool those guys. Spot. I'll have you know, the Seattle, of course, comes from Washington, and the greatest Native American wolf population to this day is in the state of Washington. Massive wolf population, guys. All you're going to look for, Nate's giving you outside the pocket. Watch how those two linebackers for the Cowboys go against Carson and Russ for the Seahawks. It's two on two. Might as well be NFL jam. Pick your team, <laughs> yeah. 55 and 54 versus Russ and Carson. I cannot wait. Mean Gene, rest in peace. He would have loved this one. Mm. Kai, who you got? Who got the edge? Who's got the edge? The, the edge is Seattle. Dallas has played really? three true running quarterbacks this year. Mariota, they played Watson, they played Cam. They've gotten beaten. 33 carries for 130 yards and two touchdowns. They've had a tough mm. time against rushing quarterbacks. Now, it's a long time ago. They're better now. Their identity is here. But until they do it, I'm giving it to Seattle. Thanks like for that. the Nat Geo fact, answer. too. I sure, I looked that up. A lot of wolves in Washington. I bobbled the intro to this because I don't agree with it. So I'm saying this is what it says. Both of these teams have great quarterbacks. I can't say it. I mean, Russell Wilson's... He's, in, he's on another level. Yes. He's, he's on another level. Dak's not there yet. You look at the running backs. Chris Carson's been playing amazing. But he, Zeke Elliott's on another level. Zeke Elliott averages over 131 rushing yards a game in his NFL career. That's more than anybody in 
NFL history. I was going to say in the NFL right now, NFL history ever to have done that. So he's on a level of his own. The Cowboys get to be at home where they're seven and one. Outside of Russell Wilson, they have every advantage. They have the better defense on paper, number six in the league. The Cowboys should win this game. Mm-hmm. Will they? I don't know because Russell Wilson is a hell of an X factor, but they should win. Maybe they aren't as evenly matched as we think. You know what? You might be right. Dak Prescott, he isn't great yet. He's done some great things. The comebacks, 14 since he's been in the league, the fourth quarter comebacks. But it's just like a video game. If you beat the boss, mm-hmm. take his powers. <laughs> That's right. So if he goes out there and he beats Russell Wilson handedly and he does what Russell Wilson does to Russell Wilson, then, yeah, we can start saying – the great Dak Prescott. Woo, to be a good one. Will Silva out in the newsroom in LA. We're all getting set for these games. And that was total yards, by the way. Total yards, a game for Zeke Elliott. More than anyone. Yeah, and Zeke Elliott has said, too, that he expects to have a heavy workload and that he's fresh because he has.